I'm going to say the next point is about uh, further to that other spirit sort of influence that might influence us into unloving uh, sexual practices with other people. So if we have a specific injury or a needy feeling within us, then we're, we can be quite susceptible to spirits that want to use us then, if, if they want to experience sex, use us to enter um, interactions with people, sexual interactions with people that may not be loving. Um, if I can give you an example of this, uh, a few weeks ago I met a man, so let's draw the man. <laughs> All right. He has a spirit with him, or a group of spirits with him, who are interested in, the, he's very mediumistic, this man, he has a group of spirits who are just interested in setting him up for sexual encounters. That's all they're interested in doing with him. So what happens is he walks along the road, and here's a pretty woman, maybe dressed a little better than that, but... And, and if she has a certain type of injury, this spirit influenced this woman to notice this man. And usually within one day, they're in bed. So he has had a string of conquests, I suppose you could say. He has this mojo with women. <laughs> Should we call it that? Which actually isn't mojo, it's actually spirit influenced. Influencing him and influencing the woman with a certain type of injury. And the woman mostly being influenced with the injury is she's quite needy for physical touch. She's quite needy for physical affection. And she's also, she also wants a man in her life who really takes note of, notice of her sexually and physically and emotionally. All of which he does to get a person into bed. So what are his emotions? So his emotions are, he really feels quite powerless sexually. But what's happening is these spirits have connected to that powerless emotion sexually. And what they're doing is they're giving him sexual power. Do you follow me? And so he is unwilling to feel this emotion. And on top of that, he's willing to actually break a lot of God's laws about love to enter the sexual union. So he's not concerned about having long-term relationships with these women. He's only concerned with getting them into bed so that he can feel better about himself sexually. Does that make sense? And every new woman he, can, he, he pl completes the conquest of, he feels better about himself. Ironically, he doesn't though. Because unfortunately, it's not real, is it? It's driven by these groups of spirits. So talking to him was quite interesting because he felt that he was actually under the control. He, he felt that he was controlling these spirits. He knew they were there with him. And he knew often what they were doing, but he felt he was under the he was under control of them. But in reality they are completely controlling him through this emotion of sexual powerlessness. What about the woman? The woman's the, the woman's again influenced as well by these spirits. And uh, and the woman is influenced by different emotions that she needs somebody to show her sexual attention and to feel loved. So for the women it's about the fact that they actually feel unloved and they actually don't want to feel that emotion. So the whole interaction with the man is also a law of attraction for them because they end up feeling unloved. So what happens, he has sex with them and then within a week generally breaks the relationship and within a week they want to marry him generally. And a, and a few days after that, obviously, he wants to break up the relationship. <laughs> um, and so they feel abandoned and unloved. So that's their law of attraction. They're attracting this whole interaction in order to feel those things. Now, can you see in all of that interaction, like, if you were the man, can you see how you might start thinking, oh, this is pretty good, I can't get any woman I want in bed, you know, and you can start feeling quite good about yourself, and I'm... You know, you could see yourself doing that. And it's all actually influenced by an emotion that you're trying to avoid in the end. So is she feeling generally unloved? Is she feeling generally unloved or is it a daddy issue? It's a daddy issue, certainly. It's a male issue. Yep, certainly.
Uh, why would he be feeling sexually uh, powerless in the first place? Uh, because he has a mum issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you see how it all relates? Yeah, what kind of mum issue? The kind of mum issue is that, uh, in, in his case, well, I probably don't like to be too specific about his emotions. Um, he may finish up watching this DVD, so he can ask me personally. Um, but generally, if a person's feeling sexually powerless, it's because in their interactions with their mother when they were little, they were constantly being overridden, constantly being pulled into line, constantly being not allowed to express their free will, but in specifically with their mother. And with their father, they generally were allowed to. Does that make sense? And oftentimes they did receive sexual projections from their mother in the sense of like their mother might have been projecting at them sexually to be the ideal man. Does that make sense? And so then they grow up feeling like they're not the ideal man, they're always being pulled into line, so now they want to have a powerful feeling. And spirits love those kind of connections. Because spirits, many spirits in the first sphere are feeling totally powerless until they can connect with the person on earth and start expressing their power through that person. So is it worth pointing out that without the spirits, the same interaction would still be happening, just to a lesser with less potency, if you like. So it's still the law of attraction acting with the spirits and it's still the person's emotional injuries that's driving the interactions. So in other words, like Mary said, if that spirit wasn't there, this man still got that emotion and this woman still got these emotions, but they haven't got spirits scanning around for them <laughs> and hooking them up anymore, so there would be far less of those kind of interactions. But because the spirit's involved, that heightens the emotions and causes these events to happen far more rapidly, which is actually good in the sense, because it means that hopefully at some point he'll deal with that emotion and hopefully she at some point will deal with the unloved emotion. Does that make sense? And it causes those events to happen quite rapidly. That's one of the things you, if that happens where you know, all of a sudden different events seem to occur where people are coming into life and they want to have sex with you. <laughs> Not many people in that. <laughs> if that happens, usually spirit driven. 